at visitors and asylum seekers. Congressman Jim Jordan pressing a Homeland Security Department official on the stunning lack of knowledge about visas and the whereabouts of those whose visas have been revoked. I'm asking for a report. I'm asking for a number. How many people are, how many visa waiver program travelers are in the country today? Just the overall number, not even overstated. Just how many are here there, today? There are 20 million, there are 20 million uh, persons who enter the country e each year on the visa waiver 20 program. 20 million a year. Do we know how, how many are here today? I do not know. I cannot give you a number on, on given the way in which the nine days That 20 days million, how many, are, how, many, uh, how many overstays are here in a year's time now? We do not track, we, we track overstays and we are preparing a report for that. Incredible. Congressman Jim Jordan, in addition to sitting on that oversight committee, he serves on the Judiciary Committee as well. He's chairman of the Freedom Caucus. Congressman, you are one of the most patient people I've ever seen. I mean, <laughs> that is stunning that an, uh, an administration official responsible in that area would not be able to answer your questions. Well, remember, this follows after last week where the lady couldn't answer anything. She couldn't give us any numbers. At least this guy said 20 million visa travelers. And, and when we pressed him later in the committee, he admitted to at probably a minimum 400,000 overstays. So people who are past the time period that's allowed on a visa waiver, uh, in the visa waiver program. And, and so what we want to know is how many of those overstays may have traveled to Syria, may have had some contact, with, may have had some link to some terrorist group. So in the end, what I look at is it seems to me when you look at DHS and what they've been doing and what we found out in the last week, it's, it's incompetence mixed with political correctness. Remember, we had this story earlier this right. week where for privacy concerns, privacy concerns of foreign nationals, they weren't checking all the social media presence of these individuals. So political correctness mixed with incompetence is a bad combination, particularly when you're yeah. thinking about the security of the country. And I'm, I have to tell you, I, I'm sitting here laughing. I, I know I shouldn't. It is a serious well, matter. But this is so yeah. absurd. This administration, right. it seems to live at the nexus of incompetence and ambiguous goals and a sense of responsibility. I, yeah. This is unfathomable. And here's what's frustrating to the American people. We had a chance today, or actually tomorrow, this vote's going to, supposed to happen, on this omnibus spending package to put in at least the Syrian refugee language, which tightened things up, which, you know, think about the context. Homeland Security Chairman McCall went on TV a week and a half ago and said terrorist groups are actively trying to exploit the refugee program. Right. We have 47 Democrats who voted with us three right. weeks ago to pass a bill. Why not insist upon that being in this must-pass legislation, this spending bill, this omnibus bill? Why not insist upon that? So that's one of the things that disappoints many of us in the Freedom Caucus. And while you'll see, I think why you'll see most of us vote against this thing tomorrow. You know, voting against the thing, as you call it, the thing seems appropriate. Everything yeah. is in it. Uh, Paul Ryan, whom uh, you and your caucus embraced, uh, and who was, uh, I think it should, the record should show, was handpicked by the man you all threw out, John Boehner, which still doesn't make sense to most of us. I mean, he's given this administration and the Democrats everything, and I mean, I'm using the word advisedly, everything they asked for. Look, look, you had a tough situation. We, 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 granted, we understand that. But to not put in the Syrian refugee issue, to not put in the bill that we passed with 47 Democrats in the context we find ourselves in after these terrible terrorist attacks over the last six weeks, and frankly, with what Chairman McCall said, that they are, their terrorist groups are actively trying to exploit this, to not insist upon that and tell the president, look, Mr. President, if you can't sign that, if you can't agree to that, if you're going to veto the entire spending bill because of that, then you got a problem. We should have that debate. Right. We, should, we should be focused on American security and have that debate. That's what we told our leadership. Unfortunately, it's not in the bill. Hey, Congressman, I, I, I just got to ask you this. I, I want to ask you why all that other stuff's in. I, I figure that has something to do about with the speaker's desire to be everybody's buddy. Uh, and and he, gets a, he gets an easy pass here. I, I get that, I think. I don't like it, but I get it. Yeah. But yeah. what I don't understand is why the speaker would not himself also insist, as you are, are, are laying the case out here and in the hearing today, to include the Syrian issue the and, and the visa issue uh, yeah, in that and, bill. And I, I don't get it either. I think, I think that was such a, a win we could have gotten, a, a win that was consistent with where the American people are, a win that is uh, a policy that's consistent with just basic security, basic common sense. 
and I wish we would have pushed for that. Uh, we obviously did. We, we said put right. that in there. We had a couple other things that we thought made sense that were consistent with where America is. But unfortunately, they're not part of the legislation. And so, again, I think you're going to see a lot of Republicans, not just Freedom Caucus guys tomorrow, but a lot of Republicans oppose this legislation. Well, it is, uh, we would hope it would be uh, first symbolic uh, in its importance, but also we would hope that at some point it becomes uh, determinate in the result uh, with when you get some reinforcements there in the House. Yep. Congressman, yep. great to see you. Thanks so much. You bet, Luke. Take, take care. Congressman Jim Jordan, be sure to vote in tonight's poll. The question is, do you believe